Hello everyone, hope you are doing good. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another interesting and quick video. I am going to give you a simple roadmap currently in 2024 what you can do to get started and increase your chance of getting a data analyst job. Okay, I'm going to go step by step what you can do, what kind of videos you can refer to, what kind of projects you can do. So first of all, I would start with Excel, right? I've written it here as Google Sheets, but Excel, Google Sheets are very similar. So you can go through some of these functions, right? You don't need to go through everything, but at least these are the basics you can get started with. Okay. And uh, I'll come to my uh, channel and I have this big bootcamp playlist where you can, of course, refer uh, to, you know, some of these functions, conditional formatting, left mid index match function and so on. Put a few videos out there. Once you do that, my suggestion is even after you just learn Excel, don't directly jump to SQL, right? Do a few projects, right? Projects could be related to e-commerce data, retail data, banking data, or marketing data, whatever you're able to get access to. Go to Kaggle, download some data sets. If you're interested, I have an Excel projects playlist section where I've done a project based on my Swiggy data and also another project based on some marketing data related to an e-commerce company. Do relevant projects like this. So you're not going to only use the formulas here, but at the same time, apply it to a business context. This is very important. Once you learn the basic Excel formulas that I've mentioned here, please do one or two Excel projects. Start right away, okay? Next, moving on to SQL. Of course, this is the list like select group by where having order by case statement, joints, unions, maybe window functions and with clause are optional, but at least get a grasp of what they mean. And of course, date and string function, right? These are very, very important. Uh, understand what they mean, right? Get the basics, right? So again, uh, for the sake of SQL, as you see, I have a few videos, right? Some basic videos that you can go through in my playlist, some intermediate videos as well, right? Once you do that, again, do proper SQL projects, right? So few project ideas here are like to pra practice using some e-commerce data with Swiggy data, maybe, uh, you know, something with food data related to food ordering, for instance, or it could even be just getting data of a YouTube channel, right? Do some practical project. This can be very, very helpful. So once you learn the basics, again, do projects, right? Answer business questions. This is super, super important. So once you do these two, then I'm taking a tool like Luca Studio. It could be Power BI or Tableau, right? Don't go too deep into these tools, right? Learn to connect to, uh, let's say, a Google Sheet or an Excel file and maybe to a database. That's pretty much good. Different types of charts, graphs. How can you do calculations? How can you do formatting, sorting, filtering? Right, just get a hang of these things. If you're using Power BI, just get the basics of DAX. This is very important. Just understand the basics. Don't go too deep into the data visualization tool, right? Once you're done with that, again, build some dashboards and projects. In dashboards and projects, showcase two parts. One is to actually build dashboards. Other is to show your knowledge of, let's say, DAX functions a little bit. So I've done a few projects here on my Swiggy data, airlines data could take other data as well, right? This is completely up to you. If you're interested in sports, go and do some sports data. This is also interesting, right? Build a few dashboards, show practical proof of work, right? That is how you follow through with these three tools. Now, there's an important thing to keep in mind. Beyond this, if you want to further strengthen your SQL skills, for example, you can go to platforms like Lead Code, Hacker Rank, or Data Lemur Solve Questions, right? And I have a whole scenario question playlist here with about 20 plus videos where I've solved questions coming in big tech company interviews. And also, you know, some are directly derived from Lead Code as well. And uh, I guess if I remember right, I also have a playlist on uh, uh, data lemur, I guess, uh, where I, you know, put, as you see, a few videos as well, right? About five videos, right? Do go through them as well. So that way, further deep dive into SQL, you can do something like this, right? Once this is done, right? You also need to get your resume ready. So for the sake of getting your resume ready, I have put a, I think a video where I prepare a, a live, uh, you know, data analyst resume, try to follow this format. One page format is pretty good already. And then apart from that, also go through this interview guide to get an idea about the basic interview questions. Of course, for this, you need to be first thorough with the concepts. Keep that in mind. Now, one very important thing, right? You're going to do all this, right? You're going to do one by one Excel, Excel projects, SQL, SQL projects. 
whenever you're doing that side by side please start sharing on linkedin linkedin is a wonderful place where you can showcase your knowledge this can get you inbound calls please do that right please don't do everything and then come to linkedin side by side you learn let's say a simple excel function let's say you learn about a find and meet function share the formula share your learning give an example on linkedin the same day make this a habit so your learning and linkedin posting should happen side by side so you build up presence you build your audience you also get access to recruiters because some of them may follow you and give you inbound calls eventually this is very very important this is how you can stand out start posting parallelly on linkedin on top of that if you have you know the willingness you can also build your own portfolio website or create a github account upload all your projects right make it very clear what you've done and always highlight the business impact i hope you can follow this road map keep in mind linkedin is very important in my opinion anything that you learn even if you learn 20% show that on linkedin it acts as great proof of work proof of your knowledge increases your network i hope you enjoyed this video i'll see you again in another video for the meanwhile i'll put the bootcamp playlist go through all these videos they'll be super helpful for you i'll see you again in another video till then take care